Hey America, shut down to get a gourmet again. Um, this is the bad battery. All right. I don't know where we cut off, so I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna go real fast. So I spent seventeen dollars, and I have eighty dollars left on my food card. Um, I spent, uh, yeah, um, I spent ten dollars on two ribeye steaks, and um, so what I got here is I got some brats. They were two fifty. For spicy brats, I'm going to use that for chili or something. Um, pineapple slices and juice so we can make that hot and sour. Bananas. Again, another bag of chips. This was 99 cents. Two limes. They got the semi-sweet morsels. 99 cents right now if you want to make cookies. I got mushrooms. Uh, a bag of cilantro. One lemon. A big bag of Roma tomatoes. I'm sorry, I'm not pointing it right. And a nut roll. And a nut roll. Um, we're doing really good on the dairy. I've got heavy whipping cream. I've got enough half and half for another week. I'll need milk. Maybe I don't drink that much milk, only for cereal. This is a bunch of like the little freaky things that I do. Like, um, you know, I don't waste anything. So I've got all, let's see what's in this one. I don't even know. See, look, a lemon and a lime. Those are cored out, but I need to take the rinds off of them and save the the zest. I mean, we don't, this is the ghetto gourmet. We don't throw anything out, okay? Nothing. I need to get a zester, but that costs money. So I use my paring knife, and I cut real thin around the sides. I'll show you that sometime. And so, um, and let's look at our freezer. Whoa, we're barely able to get food in there, right? I once described all my stuff that was in my freezer on uh, 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 on the line per, for professional chefs. Um, it's a salty crew. Careful. <laughs> we're, we're basically a bunch of cooks on our downtime, all right? But we still talk about food. And I named everything that was in my fridge. And one of the guys goes, good God, man, I'm a cook, not a scientist. Because I got some strange stuff in my freezer, I'm telling you, like all sorts of fat ends. Blah, 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 blah. This is like a whole bag of shrimp shells that I've been saving to make shrimp bisque. Mm -hmm. Got to get some burgundy wine, so I got to get somebody with some money for that. And, um... Do you hear what I hear? A song, a song Sliding through the night With a joy that's loud and bright With a joy that's loud and bright I don't think he uses the words, but... <laughs> Do you see what I see? A star, a star shining through the night with a tail as big as a kite. With a tail as big as a kite. <clears throat> okay, America. Chef John to get a gourmet. Great things are happening all of a sudden today. Great things are happening. Um, got a call from Dan Bryant. Uh, I'm giving him some good ideas about the homeless. Uh, um, look, we don't want to just put a patchwork over the homeless problem, okay? We want to put these people back into community as soon as possible. Within three months, six months, they should be back into the community working on their way to get a, on their way to get their own home. All right. If you got skills and if one of these projects starts in your neighborhood, it's not about patchwork. It's not about just giving them a place to sleep. We need to lift them up. We need to teach them things. If you're retired, find one of these groups, go down, teach these people. If you're a college student out of work, jump in, help out. You find if you do something for free and you lift somebody else up and you're doing the right thing, somebody's going to come give you a job. They're going to come give you a job. I've had so many job offers over the last six months to a year while I've been crippled because I just keep doing 
Ooh, careful. Calm down. I just keep doing the right thing. I keep just giving out and giving my love to everybody. And giving it for free. Because this is knowledge, man. And look, this is the internet. This is the time of information. And there's no more holding it behind your back and not telling anybody what it is. Hold it out in your hand, okay? And you're going to find if you give two away, four are going to come back. And if you give four away, eight are going to come back. And if you take people off the street and you get a program and you raise them up and you teach them something and you give them security and you give them their dignity back because that's what they're missing is their dignity. It's shame when you're out on the street because I've been there. I've been there for years and I know what it takes to get out. Okay. It takes hard work. It takes people helping you. There's no way I could do it alone. No way I could do it alone. No way I could do it alone. Okay? So if we come together, we rise together. You want to put America back to work? Go to work. Go do something. Don't sit around your house and wait. Don't run around all day long giving out resumes when you can spend a few hours of that day just doing something to help somebody, to help a cause, to do something proper and right, okay? This homeless problem can be eradicated in a very, very short amount of time. There's always gonna be homeless, it's always gonna be poor, but we have the ability to take, I say at least 60% of these people 70% of these people within one year and put them back into the work stream. And what's it going to take? It's going to take a lot of you college students who know things and know how to get people into college. It's going to take a lot of you retired professionals to come down and, 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 and give your skills to these people. And it's going to take you people who've got jobs, who've got businesses, who've got money, who are rich, who are just working Joes, to, to, to look at these people and to help these people. We need to reach right out the door and grab them. Okay? It's no more you do the work and you show me the way because sometimes you're too far down and out. Yeah, I get worked up about this. You're too far down and out. And you need the help. And if you give somebody dignity and you give them safety and you lift up their pride because it's shame that keeps us out here it's shame that drives us to drugs and addiction it's shame that has been tearing this this whole country apart we turn the other no no more no more turning the other cheek turning away from the problem and if you think you're holier than thou, if you think you're better than somebody, if you want to preach God at them and then tell them they're a sinner, you ain't right, man. You just ain't right. What you do is you tell them that God loves them or you show them by your hands. Be the God. Be the extension of God. Be the extension of Brahma. Be the extension of Vishnu. Be the extension of Allah. Be the extension of Yahweh. Be the extension of the Great Spirit. And with these hands, and with this mouth, and with these eyes and these ears, and with this heart, make it happen. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Do we have to have a war? Do we have to have civil unrest? Do we have to occupy? No. Work. Do something. I'm handicapped. You guys see me fall off the set and get right back up and just keep doing it. I don't modernize my stuff because I want it free. 100% free. I don't need to make muffin money off of this free. If I die tomorrow, it's done. And it's all free for you. Why? Because I love you. Why? Because it's right. It's the only way to go now. If you can't see that, if you can't see that, all right, 
we need to get idiots, get rid of these idiots like Whoop! yeah I said it if you ain't if <laughs> you got too much you just wrong now 1.3 million children in this country are hungry we went all the way across the world for 5,000 people who died I'm not saying it wasn't wrong to stick up for our own but when we got there we found out it was a lie and how many people did we kill over there 300,000 150,000 I don't know something maddening so it starts right here at home it starts right here at home it's time for America to stand up it's time for us to be counted it's time for us to be the big brothers of the world. It's just time. You know, there ain't no more backslacking. And if everybody start moving, everybody gonna start moving. Everything's gonna start rocking because what's really important is that we get food on the plate and that our babies raise up happy and joyous and that we all take pride in ourselves and have dignity again. And right now, a lot of you people, look, I'm not trying to point fingers. I shouldn't say it like that. I want to talk to the people who can raise dignity and love and life. And you know who you are. And take somebody with you. Show them. Show them what it's like to hand something to somebody and watch them fall into tears because they have dignity and respect again. And what it feels like in your heart. It sure feels a lot better than a hundred dollar bill. When you see the spirit move and whatever faith you are, when you see that joy move. So it's Christmas time, man. Do you hear what I hear? A change, a change is coming on the way. Don't be afraid to stand out today. So, um, we're going to do something here in Eugene, Oregon. And, um, I'm going to do my best to be a part of it, to help it. Because if I can walk down the street and try to help people and fall down and wind up with bruises and cuts and smashed up hands just from helping other people because it's the right thing to do. Well, if you're able-bodied and you got money, <laughs> I'm not saying you're worse than me, but I'm saying you probably could... Do it a little bit more than I can. All right. All right. I'm gonna smile now, and um, I'm gonna go put up another funny video of Mystical singing the Batman Jingle Bell song. I love you, America. Chef John the Ghetto Gourmet. Peace.